three most important letters in real estate are COE, which stands for close of escrow. Close of escrow is important for two reasons. Number one, it means you actually have a project in escrow, and that's not always easy. Some projects we get are very, very simple, but some come with a lot of complications that need a lot of guidance to be solved. Secondly, close of escrow also means that there's a date in which all of the due diligence has to be done ahead of time. Whether you're buying or selling, you need a team to help you navigate through the complications that escrow can provide. Today, we're here in Redondo Beach in the Golden Hills at a project that had a couple of complications, not just with escrow, but with the property as a whole. We're gonna walk you through this house today. It's a really, really cool house. I think you'll enjoy all the solutions that we brought to the table. This property was part of a probate. And what we had to do is we had to consult with our in-house counsel, and we also had to go to our network of attorneys to see if we could resolve the probate and title issues. We had to navigate through the access to the property and also working with a tenant on his timeline and his schedule so that we could get inside the house, assess what we needed to do, but also respect the fact that he was still living here. Local builders had an interest in the lot, but their offer was a couple hundred thousand dollars less than what we thought the house was worth if it were fixed up. So we helped our client find the money that she needed to get this property renovated, and I think you're really gonna enjoy the end product. When you look at the before pictures, you're gonna see a house that had some deferred maintenance. You're gonna see a house that looked dated. It hadn't been painted in a long time. So the house just needed a lot of cosmetic TLC. One of the things that we do is we create a storyboard and what we're trying to do is create a vision for the property. We're restyling it, we're giving it a sense of identity and we're pulling together colors and textures and components that will make the house more marketable and make it a lot more appealing. In this particular case, we had to do curb appeal. We had to redo the flooring. We definitely wanted to redo the kitchen to give it some sense of style. And we wanted to renovate the bathroom to give it a fresh, clean look. This is the best part of selling a house and being involved in real estate is it's like a gigantic art project brought to life. Some people said it looked like a whole different house. Some people had said they couldn't believe that this was the house that they had visited before. But I think the overall feeling was, wow, this looks like a little model house. We had a great brokers open and we had two back-to-back -back open houses and we had tons of people and tons of excitement. It's like, you know, you're a movie. It's like a debut. As you might imagine, the renovation on this house caused a lot of excitement with the neighbors. So much so that we were able to find a buyer before we even got the house on the market at a price that was well above what our asking price was intended to be. So for our seller, she got a fantastic return on her investment of time and dollars to get the house fixed up. One of the reasons why I partnered with David Coe was I wanted to be a part of something that was bigger than just me being a single agent. And I feel that we both have such distinctive skill sets and they complement each other. Teaming with him was, to me, a very strategic thing to do so that I could operate at a higher level, he could operate at a higher level, but most importantly, we could serve our clients at a higher level.